morning angels it is um back to reality let's do a coffee and the christmas and new year period is now over so that means let's clean the oven <laughs> Also, in other news, I picked this vase up from Habitat. How cute is that? It was reduced to £4.33. I've got to put it down, it's so heavy. Hang on. I also have tons of washing because it was New Year's Day yesterday and legend has it, if you do a clothes wash on New Year's Day, you wash all the good luck away. So I didn't want to like tempt fate. So I didn't do any washing, so now I've got tons of washing to do. So let's just turn this on before we clean the oven. I do also need to do a washing machine clean, but I'll do that after I've gone through all the washing today. Okay, guys, here is the oven. Now, I know it looks disgusting, granted, but bear in mind, I have done like maybe four roast dinners in this over the Christmas period. Loads of like Yorkshire puddings and oils and potatoes. It's just inevitable this is gonna happen over Christmas. My oven very rarely will stay clean over Christmas just cause I, I am a feeder and I cook loads of food for my kids and my husband. Um, okay, so normally, under normal circumstances, for those of you that have been here a while will know, we will normally go in with just my oven cleaning kit. So it's a box and it's the easiest thing to use when it comes to deep cleaning your oven. However, I don't have any in, so we're gonna have to, you know, do elbow grease today. I'm gonna be using these, the soap pads. I'm gonna be using the pink star paste. And I'm also gonna be using I am going to use the sift, but I'm only going to use this on the glass, um, not inside the oven. I'm going to use the pink stuff paste inside the oven rather than the sift. But sift is a very good product. If you don't have it, get some. It's really, really good when it comes to cleaning, especially if you have granite sinks as well. This is very good. Um, scent wise, just get any one. The lemon one, I'm not so keen on. These ones though, Although it's winter indulgence, it doesn't smell of anything wintry. It just smells like my usual sift that I would normally get, but whatever, it was a pound. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the pink stuff. I don't know what all of these little flecks are that are flying all over the place. Um, that's really, really distracting and annoying. Let me try and lower you. I can't lower you any further. This is the best we're gonna get. Okay, so pink stuff paste. Um, and then I've just got a cloth to put it on and I'm just gonna spread this over the entire oven. Look, so already I can feel like a, can you see that? There's like a, that patch there is all like grease and burnt on grease that has spilled out of one of my pans. But fear not, we'll shift it. If I show you this cloth in a minute, you're gonna be like, gross, look at that, thick. Okay, we've got some more. And there we go, that's come up just with the pink stuff paste. You should be able to get your oven pretty clean with this stuff. It's just um, not as quick as the boxes that I buy. The boxes are more of like the easy clean type jobs, but and this is more something I would use if I was doing like an in-between clean. But like I said, I don't have the box handy and this is just gonna drive me mad if I don't do it now. So I'm gonna do it the hard way. Fine, now we'll get it done. This is how the oven is now looking. I've just gone over it with the pink stuff paste only. So we've just used this. Now I am gonna go in with my soap pads. So this is gonna really lift any of the baked on grease and grime. They just look like this. You don't need to use product on them, just wet them because obviously all this pink stuff inside is soap and that's what we're gonna be using. And it's like slightly abrasive. So this works really well on ovens. Let's move on to 
the glass. For the glass, I'm gonna use the Sif. This glass is desperate for a clean. So let's just smear a bit of this on. And then my wire trays, I mean, if my Nan was alive, she would go, you lazy mare, just do them by hand. I'm not, I'm putting them through my dishwasher because they can go in the dishwasher. They come up nice. I feel like they're nice and hygienic then. Again, under normal circumstances, my oven box cleaner, they would go in the bag. Haven't got one, so I'm cheating a little bit. But let's let's um, rub the sift into this and get all of these oil splatters off. Now, if you find that the sift alone, this is very good at removing these types of things. But if you find that the sift alone isn't really doing what you want it to do, <clears throat> just go back to your soap pad and with the sif, just use that and this will almost instantly, you'll see, lift off all of the grease and oil patches. You just need something. The thing to remember when it comes to oil, you need something that's gonna cut through the oil, but also something that is gonna be slightly abrasive because it's quite sticky. You want that abrasiveness to pull it off, which is why these work very, very well. I got these off Amazon. It was about one pound, 24 for a pack of 10 which i think is quite reasonable you might be able to pick them up cheaper in store but those of you that know me will know i am a homebody i don't really like venturing out my house just because the outside world scares me um okay so that's looking good let's just wipe over and you'll see look at that Marvellous. You might need to do it one more time for, um, just for good measure, but you'll then flip it. That's how it's looking. And then you'll just do exactly the same on the other side. And it's also nice that I'm using SIF on this because I've got a granite, um, sink. You don't want to use harsh chemicals on this. Absolutely under no circumstances, put oven cleaner on or in a granite sink. If you're going to be cleaning your oven, and using oven cleaner, use the um, use your bath. Take, I know it's a faff, but take it upstairs and use your bath. I, I promise you, you will ruin your sink so quick if you've got um, granite or composite granite, whatever, anything like that. Don't put oven cleaner on it, even to rinse off. Just, just don't do it, okay? Okay, that was the better side because that's the side that faces in the um, door outside the door sorry not in the door and then that's looking good i'll rinse that off i'll show you what it looks like okay so here is the glass panel and that is literally just from using sif and a soap pad and it's come up steam so i will give that another wipe over with my um dry cloth i'll use my washing up cloth to get the excess off so i'm not putting the solution back on it and then um I'll polish that off so it's nice and smear free and then that will go back in the oven once we have finished the oven. Mm -hmm. 